So now we are going to second step. So after you have prepared the material at least for one or two weeks, so you have to check whether your course have been registered at Smart UMS. So normally you don't have to you have to, don't have to do any anything as all the course information okay will be obtained from SMP UMS and this information will be then to be used to register your course as Smart UMS. So you don't have to do anything normally. And this uh, registration process is done by JTMK. So if you have any questions, any problem, or you cannot find your course at Smart UMS, you should email to this address, mentioning your code of the course, the name, full name of the course in Malay, and also your name, okay, lecture name. So you might wondering why the costs are not found in Smart UMS. So this is mainly due to the some of the faculty did, did not update the course information in the SMP before the semester. In addition, for for the course with many sections, for example, the language courses at BBIB, the course coordinator need to send a list of the sections and the lecture that responsible that for each section or the lecture that to be assigned for each section to the admin of Smart UMS. Okay, this one. Okay. So this need to be done before the semester start. So this is all about the cost registrations.